Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to look at our bin that has the pine shavings in it. Now, it has been over 40 days since my last update on this system, which is well longer than I wanted it to go. It somehow got lost in the shuffle, but we're going to go ahead and take a look. We're probably going to need to add some water to this. We're probably going to need to add some food, and we're going to see how these worms are doing in here and how these shavings are breaking down. And we've already had this for well over a year at this point, and it, the shavings are still there and still readily noticeable when you look through the system. But we're going to see how it's doing now. We're hopefully going to uh, get it kind of going again and make sure it gets back in that rotation. I don't miss it again. And uh, see how these worms are doing. So with that, let's go take a look at the system. All right, here we are with our system. You can see our last date was 317. Today is April 26th. So that's what, that is 40 days actually, I think exactly. And let's take off this cover and take a look here. So first off, Still some moisture on this side. That's been my biggest concern uh, with opening this today. Uh, lots of moisture down there on the bag as well. So we're good where you have moisture on here. That's, uh, that's the biggest concern with leaving a bin this long is that it's going to run out of moisture right now. So let's go ahead and get the glove on. And let's take a look in here and see what's going on. So this is the side we fed on last time. Uh, let's, let's go on the opposite side to start. Very dry over here. You can see... So it looks like the shavings are starting to break down a little bit, but it's very, very dry. It's still kind of crunchy, though. To see if we see any worms over here. Oh, we got a little, got some little worms over here. I'm surprised that they're on this side at all, really. But hey, they were, life finds a way here in the worm bin. And there's another one in there too, or two maybe. One, two, three. So they're making their way through here. It looks like still and still trying to find food. Oh, hold on. There's a little baby. Look at this. A little tiny baby right there. So, I love seeing little baby worms in my bins. That's usually, can be a good sign. Where this one's probably not as good a sign. It means that there's, they're probably trying to multiply as the food runs out. Again, some smaller worms in here. It's probably because it's a little bit dry. Let's move that top layer over. Let's just dig in the center section now take a look oh look at that there's a good amount of worms in this section this one looks like it's ready to possibly lay a cocoon with how big that is as the what the silicium is uh, swollen there um, another one on the side over here look at that though they're they're in here pretty good I'm not seeing any cocoons I was really kind of hoping with sometimes when you have a system going really well and then you kind of cut back on feeding they kind of go into panic mode and they will lay more and more cocoons but I'm not seeing that although I am seeing lots of babies here here's another one right there another little baby um, I'm seeing the babies in here though which is a good sign so maybe it's not so bad that they're that the cocoons are not hatching now if you see any cocoons in the video let me know down in the comments where you saw them I don't you're looking at a different angle than I am, so they might be hidden from my view. But look at this. There's plenty of worms in this section right here as well. And still some more over here. So that's a good sign. All right, with that, we're going to go ahead and cut over here to where the food was and see if they've gone through this food here. First off, look at all the worms over here. There's a whole bunch of them, and there's more still down in the hole. Just going to go ahead and break this apart. There is a stem in here, I can feel. So this is a grape stem. And they are swarming over this area pretty well. I mean, you can see there's a lot of worms right here. But they, the stems take a long time to break down. Let's just see what else we've got in this area. Looks like we might have some well, more worms, obviously. Lots of worms in this area because there's lots of food. But I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, here we go. We've got something right here. Here, banana stem. That's left over. Most of it's gone, actually, now. You can see, I mean, like, even in that little tiny section, look how many worms are in there. So they're really desperate for food in the system right now. Let's just see here. Anything left over here? Feels like there's something right here, maybe. Oh, it looks like it's another banana peel. It's still there. Maybe it got a little bit anaerobic. I'm not smelling anything bad, but it looks like this is not breaking down quite as much as it normally would. So I think these... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say right now, I really feel that at this point... These shavings are not doing the job that they were as far as aerating the system. Before, they were able to keep a lot of air going into the system. And I think that's starting to fail now that the shavings themselves are starting to break down. 
but the material still looks really really good in here it's nice and light flakes apart easily so I, I have to say I'm really impressed with this material to kind of hold it together it'd be great as a uh, material to use in your in your worm bins probably especially if you need to amend your soil uh, like my soil actually really would be perfect for this because it's very clay like and to have something light and airy like this that'll slowly break down would be a really good thing probably for it still not seeing any cocoons but plenty of worms so the, the worm system looks pretty good as you can just scraped off the top there and there's a ton in there so yeah, these are looking really good. So, all right, with that, we've got our grape stem over here. We're going to put that back in where we're going to put the food. And we're going to add the food to the other side. So let me just grab that grape stem again, throw that over there, along with the banana peel. We're going to do what we've been doing. We're going to add this to the opposite side, which is what I do a lot of times now. And just because we're going to add at least a slight... That's actually a piece of the banana peel, but we're going to add a little bit of stuff underneath. And I know that I'm going to be putting frozen food in here, which I normally try not to do on top of worms, but I'm not going to add more material to this bin. That's not the purpose of it. So we are going to add frozen material on top of this. Let me grab my container right over here. And we will be adding some moisture to this as well. So what we're going to do, I have a frozen banana right here that can go in there with a couple little grapes. I've got some frozen coffee grounds and tea leaves. These are green tea. So these, this is a ball of tea leaves right there. I'm going to kind of break that apart a little bit. I wish I could break the, uh, oh, there's an apple core in the middle of there too, I think. I think that's an apple core. It's either that or it's a pear. Oh, no, it's an apple. It's an apple core, I'm pretty sure. So these coffee grounds, hopefully those will break open too. And then uh, I'm going to grab just a couple more tea leaves in here. So I have a lot of tea leaves in this one, but uh, Actually, you know what we're going to add? We're going to add a couple of husks in here, too, from some corn. As we get into corn season here. This is kind of a bedding material as well, since it doesn't uh, doesn't really have a... I don't think this has quite the nitrogen content as the other stuff. It's not full bedding, but it's not quite the same as the other material. So, with that, let's go ahead and cover this up. We need to cover it up really nice and well and deep. Because of the fact that we don't want the bugs to get in there. I'm not seeing any bugs in this system, which is great. Um, I know some of my other ones have had some fruit fly issues lately. But, actually, I still I wonder if this does need some water. I think we're going to add a little bit, but we're not going to add a whole lot. This also feels like a piece of food that maybe is still breaking down a little bit. So, there we go. All right, now I think this is still taking a long time to break stuff down. It seems to be a lot slower. It might be partially a temperature thing, but I'm not sure why that is. So I'm going to grab, I've got my label right here to go on this side, which is 426. There we go. Shows that we fed right over here on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and peel this one off. And actually, I'm going to just do one more thing here. I've just been trying to do dashes now or a mark on here to show that I fed. Just something so that way if I come back and take a look at it and I put another label on, I know that it's not the first time I'm feeding it. Now we're going to add just a little bit, a little bit of water to this. You know, I don't want to add a whole lot, but I'm going to add just a tad of water over here where the food is and a little bit over here as well. Just a little bit, only half a container has the BTI mix in there, and I just want to kind of keep that in there, prevent the fruit flies or fungus gnats from getting in, but also because I'm worried about drying out a little bit more as we uh, let it sit for such a long time last time. So here we go, we're putting our bags back on the top here. And that is our update for this, this time. So hopefully we'll go a little bit less than 40 days in between our updates. But as you can tell, they were still working on that food a little bit. Actually, I missed this corner a little bit. There we go. Um, but overall, system's looking good. Worms are looking good. And it'd probably be a good system maybe to sort out at some point, too, in the future uh, as we get a little closer to this. I think there was a bug crawling in there. So that's it for this update. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.